Okay, at first guess, you usually see her standing right here, but you know what? We want to be safe and keep that social distancing. In effect, joining me on the phone is wellness and fitness expert, Shemaine Nugent. First of all, Shemaine, I've got to ask, how are you guys doing right now? We're doing great, Brian. Thanks. Um, we have been well prepared for any emergency. That's how we've always lived our lives. So we're good. We're doing great. But I am. I was supposed to be there with you today. Also, we, we tried to work it out, but I'm doing the responsible thing and I'm staying home. Absolutely. And of course, a lot of people are encouraged to stay safe and keep that distancing and, and avoid crowded areas. But okay, you monitor the coronavirus, you constantly get the updates. Uh, what are you hearing? What's the very latest right now on this virus? So there's only, you know, if you look at the flu in general and compared to this coronavirus now, the, the total number of cases in the United States is only about 100. And people are, seem to be recovering from it well. But here's the problem, Brian. It's very unpredictable. And it can be very potent and deadly, and it can affect everybody differently. And the other reason I'm staying home, um, not that you're, you're not okay being where you're at, is because I had pre-emphysema from toxic mold exposure. So I don't want to take a chance. And I'm listening to the president saying stay home whenever you can, wash your hands, uh, moisturize, don't go anywhere you don't have to go. And that's what, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Shemaine Nugent uh, joining us uh, via the phone today to talk about the very latest of the coronavirus. Now, you, you've seen a lot of stuff on Facebook. And on social media, of course, everyone has, everyone's an expert on coronavirus on social media, just like they are you know, on every other topic that makes the news. Now, I see a lot of criticism that we're overreacting on this and that we're, you know, it's, it's just really, it's, it's a minimal, it's just nothing but a, a glorified cold. How do you address people like that to let them know, you know what, this might be a little bit more serious than you think? Oh, this is definitely serious. It's definitely more serious than people think. And I don't think, you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, fear going on right now because it's uncertain, because people are having to literally walk away from their jobs and they don't know where their next check is going to come, if at all. But we do know that the government is working very hard and every day coming up with more updates so that we can be provided with checks to those who need it, paychecks to the, those who need it. I also heard that um, somebody's student loan was wiped out, their mortgage was put on hold. So be prepared for updates like that often. I think that's really important to... You know, I don't want to. I don't want to say overreact. Let's replace that with being overprepared. So rather than going out and getting two weeks worth of stuff, get two months worth of stuff. Be prepared. Be vigilant. And uh, you know, let's just pray. Now's a great time for us all to pray and come together and be as one. Yeah, I, I would agree. We've talked before on this show about faith and how faith will get you through these tough times. And a lot of things that we're dealing with right now are our biblical roots. Uh, in fact, let's, let's go back real quickly to the financial part of all of this. And later in the show, I'll have Phil Van Dyvendyke uh, on the show to talk about historically that we've seen the market go through crises like this. But I know in the next day or so, we will get some type of stimulus package. I think it was $500 billion that each American would at least have a little bit of money in, the, in their uh, paychecks in their pockets rather by April 6th. I think that was a date on that. What's your thoughts on the government reimbursing people for their lost wages? Well, nobody knows for sure right now until the president comes out and declares what he's going to do. But I know that he's working hard to make sure that people feel safe because we, you're, you're right. It's, it's so unusual what we're going through we haven't experienced anything like this and it is biblical brian it is biblical but if you look at what has happened to us in the past week look at the changes look at our new normal right now so let's project that to next week and what could happen and to next month and i'm not saying this to scare anybody i'm saying let's get prepared Let's get prepared, spend time home with your family. Let's wait and see. You know, let's go back to the family that you just said. You know, I, today I was just 
hearing some reports that people were like, you know, I've never been, I've never spent as much time with my spouse. <laughs> I've never spent as much time with my kids. What suggestions or what ways uh, can you help us, or maybe tips on what to do with your family? I mean, you're, you've got a lot of personal time with them, right? People that you may not only see, but maybe 10, 15 minutes a day because we've got this daily grind. What are some of your suggestions that we can do with our spouse and our kids? Well, number one, make sure that everybody stays healthy in your family. And if somebody is coughing for any reason at all, whether it's just an allergy cough, make sure that everybody knows to cover their mouth when they cough with a handkerchief and then wash the handkerchief. Yeah. <laughs> the problem with these masks is, is that they, you, you can't wash them, some of them anyway. Okay. So um, some of the things that you can do with your kids at home, there's virtual learning. If you go to k12.com, they have public schooling at home. And one of the things that I recommend is that you have a designated space without distraction for learning with your kids. And you decide with your kids, okay, how much can we tolerate two hours today? Can we tolerate four hours? It just so happens that spring break is right now, so we don't have to school. But if this continues, um, have that design, designated space. Um, even have a recess. Talk about, you know, what you're going to be doing, what you're going to be learning. And here's, here's another tip that I really love, show and tell. Mm. Let the kids show you what they've learned. If they're old enough to read on their own and study on their own, ask them questions. 